Who doesn't like a green bean casserole loaded with beans, mushrooms, and crispy onions? The problem when we play home chef is that sometimes we overdo it and make too much food. Then, what to do with leftovers? With food prices ever climbing, it makes sense to watch our food budget and cut out unneeded waste. The problem is green bean casserole includes multiple ingredients like milk, creamy sauce, meat, and other ingredients that spoil easily. And all stews are like that, spoil easily. You blink and they turn bad. Your typical bean casserole is made of, of several high protein ingredients that can quickly spoil at room temperature in just a few hours. All these different ingredients make them a fertile medium for bacterial growth. So what do we do? About the best trick that makes the most sense is cooking just what you need. No sense in putting on a huge pot for six when only two people are eating. And once you're done eating, put away any leftovers in the fridge right away making sure your casserole does not sit out there for more than two hours at room temperature. That way bacteria won't have time to develop in your food. To store the casserole, first determine how much food is left over. If there is a lot and you decide it's better to keep the casserole in the baking dish, cover it with foil and store it in the refrigerator at 40 degrees. If you plan to eat the leftovers the next day, refrigerate them. But what if you don't plan on eating the leftovers within two days? Then better stick them in the freezer to be safe. Just make sure the dish is freezer safe. Freezing the casserole in the baking pan could be done, but just make sure the pan is freezer safe and roomy enough. If you have smaller leftover servings, you can place everything in one big container or store each serving separately in an airtight container. When refrigerated, green bean casserole can stay fresh for up to 3 days and in the freezer for up to 4 weeks. The catch is the casserole might lose its creamy flavor if you freeze it for too long. Ok, we got out of the way the storage issue. Now let's go over the best ways to heat up the green bean casserole to store the right way. You can use the oven, a stove, and even a microwave which is what most of us do. The oven method works great for large, large amounts and is usually your best bet for reheating green beans. The oven easily reheats food evenly without leaving any cold areas in your food. To heat up your food this way, you will need an oven safe pan to place the casserole and some foil. You will also need a functioning oven, of course. Follow the steps closely to avoid messing up. If you want to check out this video as an article, check out the complete post in our website theveganshift.com. Look for the link in the description and comments. First, remove the leftovers from the refrigerator or freezer and let them sit on the counter for 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature. Meanwhile, heat your oven up to 350 degrees. The green beans will naturally defrost if you leave them out. They won't thaw, but they will defrost enough to make a significant difference when reheated. Place the casserole in the center rack of a preheated oven after sealing the top with foil. Reheat the green bean casserole for 20 minutes or until condensation forms within the glass baking dish. Why bother with foil? The foil prevents the casserole edges from burning. You can adjust the baking time depending on how thick your casserole is. It generally takes 20 minutes, but you can shorten it for 15 or 215 if you are reheating a smaller batch dish. It's best if you check the casserole every 5 to 10 minutes while it is reheating. You don't want to burn a perfectly fine dish. Pull out the dish and remove the foil once it has heated through. Be careful not to burn yourself with the aluminum foil. 
top scientists finally revealed the reason why you are struggling to lose weight. Make sure to look for the Icaria Lean Belly Juice link in the description. Check the casserole to make sure it has heated all the way through. If not, bake it for another 5 minutes. If you notice too much water on the casserole surface, you could place the pan on the top oven rack for 3 to 5 minutes to broil away the excess liquid. But you might have the opposite problem, too little water. In that case, you might have to add a little water to the green bean casserole before covering it with foil so it doesn't dry out and burn. The green beans will heat up faster because of the steam created by the moisture. Don't add more than one to two spoons if you don't want to end up with a tasteless mess. Now let's look at the French top or stove metal. If you don't have an oven, just using your stove is the way to go. The French top approach is perfect when you don't have many leftovers and need to heat the food quickly. Since you are using direct heat, your reheating time shouldn't be longer than 10 minutes tops. Take the green beans out of the fridge or freezer and let them sit at room temperature for 30 minutes max. Heat a frying pan at medium low heat and add 1 to 2 spoons of water. You can also add vegetable broth if you don't want to lose uh, flavor. Combine the water or broth with the casserole. Set the burner to low heat. When there is enough condensation and vapor inside the casserole, cook it for 5 to 10 minutes with the lid on. Keep checking the casserole to see how warm it is. Leave it on the range for another 2 to 3 minutes if not had enough. Since food heats quite fast on a stove, keep a close eye on it or you might ruin it. The microwave approach should be safe for less because like, okay, it is fast, but if you try it with too much casserole food, the result will be a gooey mess. Because microwaves heat food from the inside out, using it on a casserole dish high in fat and carbohydrates will cause everything to get mushy even the green beans. So the best option is to use the microwave only to heat smaller individual portions. You will need a microwave oven, leftover casserole, microwave safe fan, and water or other liquid for rehydration. Follow these steps to reheat green bean casserole like an expert. Allow the leftover green bean casserole to warm up slowly on the counter at room temperature for 30 minutes max. If you're reheating frozen green beans, it is preferable to defrost them in the microwave at the defrost setting just before switching to the heating setting. Remove a single serving, then top the plate with stock or water. Do not use more than one to two spoons. Mix the water with the green beans very well. Reheat the casserole at the highest setting for about two to three minutes. For optimal heating results, heat the food for one minute to start and then take it out of your microwave oven and mix. Then continue heating for another one to two minutes or until the casserole is nice and hot. If the casserole is still not hot enough for you, you can continue heating it for an additional 15 seconds at a time until hot. To improve the flavor of a casserole that has been stored for a while, you can add some toppings such as fried onions, cheddar, parmesan, onion slices, breadcrumbs or crumbled potato chips.